What's the crack, lads? We are back. And we're going to be taking just a quick look, right? I don't think that these guys are really worth investigating too much. There's three good players in here. I would say Tomori is quite decent as well. Look, there's a couple of players in here, depending on where you are at in your e-football club journey or your dream team journey, whatever you want to call it, right? There's a good couple of players in here. They've all got fairly decent defensive stats because they're part of the Guardians um, defensive series here. This guy's pretty decent. We're not going to go through them all though, lads, because I have covered these players multiple times, different versions of them. We've already done the Showtime players, which are quite disappointing as well, spoiler alert, um, depending on how you like to play and stuff. But yeah, we are going to focus on a couple of these. I mean, listen, any of these players that you get, if you're starting off or if you've got a team that you've only put maybe 20 hours into and very little money, are always going to be like upgrades, right? Because you've got better standard rating from the base and you've got better levels, right? But if you're talking about the difference between spinning for them and spending actually your hard-earned coins or your hard-earned money, um, you know, we know things are times are tough at the moment, so you do have to really think about what players are worth spinning. I mean, obviously, people that spin, um, it's brilliant that they have a lot of options to do so, but I do think that there are three players in this uh, as well here, right? So Tamori, a fantastic player, right? Fantastic player. Um, really, really nice ag agility for a center back. I do like players like this that have a good lot of levels. He doesn't have blocker. He's not really a traditional center back, in my opinion. He's more like Timber or Kunde, um, even though they've improved Kunde's awareness and stuff. Um, I do think that there are a couple of players in here that are kind of, I won't say that they're mid game, but I do think that like if you are spinning for them, I wouldn't be going out of my way to spin for him. I mean, this guy has player skills that are really, really nice and suited to his position, um, but he's very slow. So if you're looking to have him as a mobile center back, you can't really do that. You have to play him as your main in the air threat or in the air stopper. So that kind of brings him into the category then of what is your best center back that you have in your team and does he replace him? So when I'm reviewing these players, sometimes I'm reviewing them with the mind of it's a newcomer, that somebody's downloaded the game yesterday or whatever, right? So we're going to focus on three of these players, Sommer, Bremer, and Labotka, because these actually surprised me with their stats. Bremer, we're going to take a look at last because he's very interesting, but we will take a look at Labotka here, right? So Labotka is going to be over here on eFootballDB. Now, when you look at him as a DMF and you put him into that category of him and Kimmich, right? Kimmich is obviously a better overall player than him based on stats. But it's not all about stats, right? We're going to be looking at Labaka as a CMF, right? So we're going to be looking, him, looking at him as instead of playing a box-to-box, -box, we're going to actually play a really defensive orchestrator, okay? That's still able to have amazing passing and tight possession and balance and stamina and speed and acceleration, whatever you want. He's got one touch passing, true passing, low lofted and weighted pass, insane, double touch and soul control, insane, and he also has brilliant defensive capabilities. Now, we've gone very, very extreme on the defensive capabilities here, just to show you a point, that even with 14 into defensive, you can still have 88 ball control, low pass, balance and stamina, which is incredible, right, with 80 speed and acceleration. If you want to play him as kind of a more box-to-boxy -box type player, right, you could even take this down to maybe like four, I would say, or, or three, and you could actually pop this up to have 91 acceleration with maxed out balance, which is mad, like with a player like this, right? On top of that, if you wanted to go that route, you could actually go to dribbling very, very spicy there if you wanted to go that route. You could go to passing very spicy if you wanted to go that route. So there's a lot of options with him just to give you. There's no real best build. It's better, it's better to kind of like use whatever build you need him for. I wouldn't use him as my DMF holding, anchorman or destroyer. I would use him as my second midfielder that's not an attacking midfielder. Now, if you wanted to play him attacking midfielder, he doesn't play there traditionally, but if you wanted to play him, you could play him a very advanced CMF and have just an attacking midfielder beside him to make the runs. Um, you could actually put him even at that, right? Now, he goes at, at this rating, okay? He goes to a 97 with this training program here, right? If you take off that and you pop one more into his lower body, He's going to have really, really nice stats across the board with very little defense that you need to worry about. But you can have an anchorman behind him that will do the job for you. And you're going to have insane stats with the manager boots, right? So that's one player to look at. We'll also take a look at Sommer. We had a look in the other player pack review at Maignan, who was the Showtime player. Sommer goes to a 95 as well. You'll obviously get the manager boost. But look at his stats, man. Really, really high goalkeeper clearing. Reflexes. Jump is maxed out. And goalkeeper reaches at 90. 
nothing to nothing but to like about this card lads it's a fantastic card I really really like this card and then bremer right so bremer is an interesting one because sometimes when i'm talking about players you have to make a decision between being a versatile center back um such as timber kunde cardoba any of those guys that are a little bit limited defensively um well i wouldn't put cardoba in there because he's just a legend he's a beast but you know the likes of kunde timber any of those guys they are a little bit more limited compared to like you're all um encompassing kind of center back that's not going to be more about speed and versatility and mobility it's going to be about just defense raw defense stats so ruben diaz van dyke um any of those tommy asu bremer kind of fits into both of those now he doesn't have blocker that's the only thing he doesn't have um but he has unwavering form physical contact is 88 defensive stats out to wazoo brilliant header is really nice good height good jump um he does have area superiority heading and acrobatic clearing with fighting spirit and he's just a perfect center back if you're starting off you spin him and you get him so let me know what you guys think lads let me know what you guys think whether you like these cards or not obviously there's a couple of more in here if you want to train a guide on any of these like spinazola is a really interesting one as well um you also have darun who's quite in interesting because he's got high levels to go and he's on b rating let me know if you want a dedicated training guide on any of these and we'll get right on it as we do if you enjoy the channel don't forget to subscribe we're on the road to 40,000 subscribers it's going to be a very interesting one but hopefully you guys will be here for the journey we've got some new series starting soon so don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in a bit peace